I'm here today to show you a little bit about Nagios, a Linux based monitoring software. Um, first thing we're going to look at is the tactical overview. This just shows the overall health of all of my hosts and services. Here's the service detail showing the de uh, services that I'm using on each host and then the hosts themselves. There can be several services per host. Uh, looking at, at a closer look at the service page you can see that I'm currently running mostly ping tests right now you can see the packet lost and return rate and at the bottom you can see two hosts that I'm running HTTP on uh, we also have a service map I'm sorry a status map it currently is pretty boring because I don't have any multi-level services running uh, we also have host groups and a host group allows me to watch not only my services but also a client of mine and uh, they can only see theirs of course I can see both and the, ser uh, the service will of course email you when your host comes down or up here's a couple of tests that I was running earlier today it is kind of hard to set up Nagios for the first time so I use FileMaker to help uh, create the config files um, pretty much uh, it's pretty simple really you just put the name of each uh, client in the IP address that you want to test the contact group, uh, the host group, and what type of monitoring you want to do, P, uh, ping or HTTP, uh, and there of course is my warning and critical thresholds. And right here is just a uh, little preview of the config file that it's going to create for that user. Um, those config files are created from just a simple calculation. Uh, you can see that it's not really that difficult in the services however you have two options so you can see where I insert the uh, variables of monitor type contact group and so on right now it only allows you to do ping and HTTP but that will change in the future as I need more uh, and here's my other host which I'm doing HTTP on now exporting the files from a uh, file maker is very easy uh, file export Save them in tab separated text. And then you want to export the hosts and services. And then I use pages to open it up. And basically, you can see how the FileMaker has created the, uh, both the host section and the service section. So I'll just take that, do a select all and copy, and then I'll move over to terminal, where I'll do an SSH login to the host, change directory into the Nagios directory. I have all my configurations in a file called servers.cfg. Normally you would just remove this file and create it again pasting in all the information that you copied but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial so I'll just make a test CFG and just do paste and then normally you would save the file and come back out and then just type service Nagios restart and the service is uh, Nagios is now running your new uh, configurations mm -hmm.